Okay, America's Got Talent Top 48. I didn't do a uh, whole what I think people had to bring to this uh, because I was going to VidCon. I just got back. It was awesome. VidCon was great. Um, this was the first of four semifinal rounds, the Top 48. All right, I'm just going to go through the 12 acts that performed, then uh, tell you a little bit about them, and then I'll tell you the four I think that will make it with uh, the fifth, you know, the or the fifth, basically. Uh, Kung Fu Heroes is more like choreographed dancing. I wasn't all that impressed. There wasn't anything really exciting. It was, yes, it's very talented, but I couldn't watch that for an hour and a half. Remember, everybody's trying to go to Vegas, trying to get a, you know, a, a million dollar deal. That's not a million dollar deal. Uh, Christina and Allie, the little, the young girl's voice is sh definitely showed her youngness. Um, I did not like the vo the background vocals. Their harmonies were good. Um, I, they, they are improved. Yes, I don't think they make it. Uh, Air Apocalypse, it's so ridiculous. It's so entertaining. Um, even more so with the dancers. I have a very scary feeling that they could go a long way. Um, it's silly, but it's entertaining, and that's what this is about. They're going to make it to the next round. Um, Hot Shop Tap Dancers, I, there's talent, but it was boring. I would have fallen asleep. Uh, Paul Savy Jr., the crooner guy, slow song. It's not going to make it. Future Funk, they're cute little kids. The timing's off, but they're 5 and 10, and they're cute, so they're going to make it to the next round. Uh, Sally Cohen is a good performance, but there's no way she makes it to the next round. Come on now. Uh, Nick Pike, you should never argue with the judges, but that's what he does. He, You know, he's not making it because, you know, he's just not making it. RNG, pretty good. You, they used a Rihanna song, though. Rihanna's bad news lately. Um, and it wasn't really in inspiring, you know, I, I, it just, it's not something I, I would, uh, remember really, uh, if I was thinking about tonight, uh, Mary Carr, underwater painting is really cool and she's got so much talent, but what are people going to remember from this girl? Um, this is my, I'll, I'll talk about this in a couple of minutes or, or a minute, uh, fighting gravity. Wow. Freaking incredible. They're, they're my top front runner to win right now they were for a while um standing ovation so really good uh nathaniel kellen uh kenyon uh sorry didn't play guitar he just sang and it sounded like he was nervous at first but because i fast forward through all the backstories and then i found out um when i listened to the judges um that he was sick so yeah um, his, I will tell you why he will get through to the next round. It's because he dissed Howie. It's because he dissed Howie Mandel. All right, here are the four, or four slash five, that are going through the next round. All right, Air Apocalypse is going to the next round because it's just so ridiculous. It's uh, it's very entertaining. Future Funk, they're cute little kids, and uh, they they perform very well. Their age does have something to do with it. They're five and ten. They're not going to win. I will tell you that. Um, I have definitely got Fighting Gravity. They're the front runners to win the whole thing right now. And the next, this this will probably be the four and five slot. Okay, the the one that where the judges have to decide if that's what they're doing. Does only four. Um, it'll be Nathaniel Kenyon versus Maricar. All right, Maricar. Um, this did not show her true potential, and I think that's why she'll be put in the 4 or 5 spot like where they have to actually have the judges vote off. I'm assuming this format is what, you know, the same thing that was in place last year. Um Nathaniel Kenyon um I think that the the judges will choose it'll be 2 to 1. Uh Maricar over Nathaniel Kenyon. But you know, who knows? Uh, if uh if it's Maricar versus Air Apocalypse, I think Air Apocalypse still wins. If it's Maricar versus Future Funk, I think Maricar wins. If it's um, Nathaniel Kenyon versus Future Funk, I think the little kids win. So it'll be interesting. Um, Fighting Gravity is not going to have a problem if they. There's no way they they're gonna they're gonna go a long way. You know they're they're gonna they could probably win it all. You know it's just so unique and very interesting, and uh, they're definitely going to the finals no matter what. So this is just a a minor little thing. So anyway, that's what's up. I'm Biggie Dude, and I uh, hope you enjoyed this crap.